Yo, you know what it is. Big weekend, Ohio State. I said, oh, wait. I said, oh, wait. You know what it is. Everybody you know what time it is, man. You got that scarlet and gray on. We down in Atlanta this weekend. Saturday. The biggest game of the year. Screw the whole little beat blue shit. That shit's done. They about to get smacked up. Soon as we get done beating Georgia. We smack Georgia up in Atlanta. That, that team up north, if they smack up or win barely against TCU, which I hope they do, because we got something to prove to the nation and to the people of the Ohio State that this shit ain't no regular, this ain't no regular shit, man. Ohio State, man, it's something called pride that we got to walk onto this motherfucking field with. Each and every time we step on this field, I don't give who we playing, where we playing them, and what's the fucking deal, and what's at stake. When you put on that goddamn Ohio State goddamn jersey, and you throw that helmet on top of your motherfucking cap, and then you say you the coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes, you better bring this team ready to lock and load it. And you motherfucker better not be playing around, man, with this bullshit that you been running, Ryan Day. I'm talking specifically to you, Ryan Day. I see all my boys, all the players going through all this shit. Them young boys going through stuff. All these people up in these boys' DMs. These young men DMs. And they out here putting their lives on the line playing this goddamn tough-ass game. Every goddamn, what's it, 13, 13 games, 12 games, however many games you got to play, man. Them young boys is bringing their shit. But y'all coaches, man, need to step this shit and put these players in the best position they could possibly be in. I keep telling people you win the game in the trenches. You get punched in the motherfucking mouth in the trenches. Everything else fails. Everything else crumbles. And if we until we win in the trenches, uh, Ryan Day, excuse me, and whoever the hell our damn defensive coach is, because I don't know who you is, because this ain't looking like the Ohio State defense that I'm used to watching. Where we produce some of the best defensive linemen, linebackers, and cornerbacks that you will see in the NFL. We just don't play good and great during collegiate uh, 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 football. We go to the NFL and we ball out. When, our, when we produce some of the best running backs that you will see in the NFL. This ain't looking like that, man, with the hell that we running with all this looking pretty shit. All this dropping back and trying because we got a, a dope ass quarterback. Understand me? We play the game to win the goddamn game of football. I don't care if we win by one or 100. The Ohio, the Ohio State is known for whooping ass. You understand me? So, Ryan Day, I need you to make sure that you motherfucking have your shit straight, man, or you gone. You'll be on the next Greyhound bus with Kevin Stefanski riding up to motherfucking uh, 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 somewhere in Idaho, coaching somewhere in Idaho. Because I ain't got time for this shit disrespecting our goddamn culture in Ohio, man. I ain't got time for that shit. The fans ain't got time for this shit. And them young boys ain't got time for this shit because they're too damn good. Now, you better bring the damn pain and punch somebody in the goddamn mouth this damn Saturday when we play Georgia in Atlanta, and then we get ready to go in here and smack that team from up north again if they beat TCU, because that's what I want. I want that goddamn rematch, and I want Ryan Day to prove that you are the fucking coach for my team and our team, Scarlet and Gray. I said, oh, H. I motherfucking know. Let's go.